Well, I thought I would show off a new type of torque wrench that I just got. Uh, it's brand new on the market. Uh, it's from a company that probably a lot of people don't know about called Fix-It Sticks. Now, a lot of you probably use something similar to this, a fat wrench. Uh, I think most serious shooters probably have one in their bag or bench. And it's worked perfectly adequate. Uh, you know, the only thing that I've never really liked about it, one is the size of the packaging and stuff, and two is the fact that uh, in order to use it uh, to unscrew anything, you have to, you know, torque it all the way up and then loosen something and then adjust the torque again. Uh, and let's face it, it's not exactly precise uh, when it comes to this. So there are certain tensions that I really like for my screws on the rings that match manufacturer specs and then also for the bases. And I need to change out this scope, so I thought, well, this would be a great chance to show you the new uh, Fix-It Sticks. So Fix-It Sticks in the past have been kind of this weird, overly, in my opinion, expensive item, and I never understood really what was so cool about them. Uh, as it turns out, what they usually make are these little they look like sockets that are color coded and each one is a is an is a torque socket instead of a torque wrench and they they've usually been a couple hundred bucks and you know with a $40 fat wrench in my bag already I kind of thought well what's the point and then I saw they were coming out with an all in one and it's a little over 100 bucks and I thought well for the size of the the package and what it's doing this might be a great addition to my bag. So uh, they don't do any branding on the bag, which I think is kind of weird, but uh, maybe it just keeps costs down. But I kind of thought maybe a logo would uh, be nice, uh, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, inside, there is this really cool little set. So you've got your, uh, your regular heads, uh, like screwdriver heads, and uh, just pull one out here for you. So they're just your regular, you know, hex heads. Now I will say I have a set of Chapman's and because those have the ball bearing on them, you cannot use Chapman bits uh, with this. But uh, I, for this purpose, I don't really care. It's okay. Um, and who knows, maybe in the future, I'll figure out a way to make the Chapman's work. Uh, but it comes with a all-in-one torque limiter. It comes with a really nice uh, little T-wrench, which I'll show you in a second. Here's your torque limiter, and it's preset with numbers all the way from zero up to 65. Now, you can't exceed 65, and you cannot use this piece to undo any kind of nut or bolt, and I'll show you more in a minute. It comes with a standard um, half-inch drive socket, which is perfect for just about everybody's uh, rings as far as mounting them on your rail. And so here's what you're gonna do with it. This piece in and of itself is a fixed piece. Nothing moves on it and all three sides are the same. So you've got, you've got the hex on all three sides and then it does have uh, kind of a slip on it here that's held in place. And so that is nice when you're, when you're turning stuff. So what you would do is, in this case, I'm taking off the whole scope. I put on my half inch drive and I can choose to either put it on the long side and have a little less torque, and it would be a little faster to unscrew, or I can put it on a side. And in this case, these are gonna be a little tighter, so I'm gonna undo these with a little bit of extra torque on them. Here. Okay, now I could switch it over and go ahead and spin these things out. And, and there's nothing really that remarkable about that particular part of the process other than to say that, you know, again, these fit beautifully on top of the existing ones there. I always had to keep an extra uh, half inch in my fat wrench on uh, a shaft that I bought from like Harbor Freight or Home Depot or something. Um, I love that they include this with it. So, all right, there's the old scope coming off. And uh, for what it's worth, this is my old Callus 1050. Uh, I've been asked to test out a brand new Mark V loophole. Uh, this has a uh, just released reticle in it that is designed for for, for F-Class shooting. It's, it's actually really cool. Uh, so I'm very excited to give it a run. So I know where I want to mount this. And uh, in this particular case, the bolts are on the right side for the time being. And what I'm going to do at this point 
is I'm gonna grab this, and I know that I want these nuts or bolts to be at 65 foot-pounds. Now, there's a line right here that stands for zero, and right here, it's going to turn. Now, it's not gonna click, it's not gonna make any noises, so I do have to watch, but as you turn this, this piece will stay still, this will turn around it, applying the proper amount of torque. So, I've got it situated here. And I'm gonna get these on, kind of tighten them both up a little bit. And let's see if I can get this over here. And so what you can see is this line is gonna, once it gets to a point, and I'll try to turn it so that you can see it, you can see the white line there, okay? And then now it's turning. Now, this is a longer shaft and less torque. I'm having a little bit of trouble with this. So I'm gonna shift it so that I can now torque it more. Oh, it's so much easier, okay? So that gets me up to 65. Let's get this baby all the way up. So there it goes, and the lines match up. That's 65. So let's come back to this one now. And we're gonna do the same thing. And 65. Beautiful. No messing with the bottom, no doing anything like that. I know these are both set for 65 and I got nothing to worry about. Now, I don't know for sure that the person that gave this to me uh, had uh, everything set exactly correct in the uh, torque settings. So, and, and it is nice in here, they give you some extra, uh, extra spaces where you can put in some extra bits that you want. So I'm actually gonna go through, I haven't had a chance yet, and, and this is probably not the best way to be doing this video, but uh, I don't have a Torx bit. Give me one second here. So my local hardware store had one of these uh, kind of like 400 bits in one thing, and, and I use it to refill ones that break or do whatever. So let's find, let's find one that fits. All right, so I know that I want my scope rings to be at right about 20. So same thing, we're just gonna come in and boop, there's 20. Actually right about 19 is what I want and so I know where this thing is gonna sit to get me to 20. Now this one was a little loose, so I'm glad that I'm checking these. So there's 20. 20. And this is so fast to do it this way, instead of going through and, and trying to reset the torque wrench every time. All right, so all these are, are now firmed up right at 20, and these are set at 65. So that's about as easy as it gets. Uh, again, I love the size of this pouch though. It fits really nicely in my range bag, and uh, it kind of, it's like got a Velcro piece in the middle, so it's sort of a, a book piece. So uh, it's easy to get on the backside and push a bit out if you need to. Anyway, thought I'd show you and hope you enjoy.